I've amassed quite a large amount of stuff from the thrift store over the past week. Um, it's a lot for me anyways. I did actually end up buying a few things that I plan on selling and one of those things sold lightning fast after I put it up on Amazon. It was crazy. So I'll start with the things that I'm not going to keep and I'll start first and foremost with the thing that sold in a split second. And that is this PlayStation 2 Power Rangers game. What is it? Super Legends 15th anniversary. It's definitely not a disc that would come out of my house. But it is perfect. Yep. It's lucky it's getting out of my hands because I'd have scratches on this in no time and uh, probably would lose the manual. Uh, I was having a Power Rangers day that day because I also found this. These I think look really cool because I had some when I was little and so they do have somewhat of a nostalgia thing. Unfortunately, uh, a big part of that nostalgia is the fact that I hate these things. I didn't like them when I was younger and I tried messing around with this and I do not like them now. I do not think they're fun, I just think they're annoying. But they look cool. Uh, however, that is not enough for me to hang on to it just to prop it up on a shelf and be like, wow, that looks really cool. If I'm not going to play it, then I'm not going to have it taking up space and it might as well go to someone who really enjoys these things because I know there's a lot of people, a lot of you guys that do. so put that on Amazon. I don't know why people pay the money they pay for these. I never in a million years would. I don't care how much I liked this game. And that is Yahtzee. These little handheld Yahtzee games. Why? Why do people drop crazy money on these? I got this for a dollar. Yeah, that wipes off. They always use some weird marker at the thrift store. And lastly, this is stuff that I'm going to keep that I actually wanted. First thing is Tasmania for the Game Gear. I actually had this when I was younger, but I traded it after I beat it with a um, friend of mine. So now I have it again, and as you can tell, it has uh, seen a lot of the sun. But since I'm not a collector, I really don't care about uh, the extremely faded label. All I care about is that it plays, which it does, so yay. I hate, hate, hate sport games. I do not think they're fun at all. Not even in the slightest. But, uh, I don't know. A lot of my friends like the sports games and they like the older games. And it can be fun when you're playing with friends. So, I'm going to give it a shot. But... It's definitely on shaky ground with me if uh, I don't enjoy this whatsoever then its fate is unknown in my home. But that is this Coleco 6 sport titles, oh my god, um, little plug and play thing. It has soccer, hockey, football, racquetball, baseball, and basketball. Pfft. This next thing I was probably the most excited about because when I was just getting ready to go into middle school, my favorite computer games were flight simulators. I really, really was into Wing Commander. So this was really cool to me. And that is a Top Gun flight simulator joystick. Hold it the wrong way, yeah. I look like I really knew what I was doing, huh? Obviously, I won't be uh, using this. I, yeah, no. This is something I'll break my little sitting around rule for. I don't mind just staring at this like a little trophy. Uh, this next thing, I really, 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 really liked the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon when I was little. So, I just picked this up because it was kind of cool. And that's a board game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Game, that's what it's called. Uh, I did sit on the floor at the Goodwill, open this up and count. 
all these little pieces to make sure they were there. They had it all, these little baggies. And it's amazing to me, all these little discs and dice and the little stands. You would think that those would be missing. Yeah, all the turtles are there and all their little stands and everything else. So this is pretty cool. And I am going to play it. I will find somebody that will play this with me. It just looks like it's a little bit of a bitch to set up with all those tiles. Because they go on all these little spots. So that's going to take a billion years to set up because there's like, I don't know, like 60 of them. So yay! There's that. And this last thing I know very little about, but I have seen them before. And that is a uh, Power Joy, one of the little handheld ones. It's got that uh, Power Joy PJ008 cartridge. And I don't know if this comes off. I'm assuming it does. But I pulled really, really hard and it's not coming out. It's missing the battery part. So I'm going to have to figure something out there. But I'm really excited actually to try this to see what it's like. Little cables to connect it to the TV. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that is it. That is the huge amount of things that I have accumulated over the past week-ish. So yeah. Alright. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.